Colorado and Boise State. All right, very intriguing uh, tonight. Again, this is first four matchup in Dayton, both 10 seeds. Colorado on the neutral floor lost the championship game in the Pac-12. They're a two-and-a-half-point favorite. Boise State was beaten right away in the Mountain West Conference Tournament uh, by New Mexico. So that's when last we saw them in Las Vegas. Total 141 in this game. Matt Cox, start uh, our discussion up a little bit here on Colorado, Boise State. Thoughts on this one uh, for the late game in Dayton tonight in the first four of the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I have no take on this side. I, I did lay Colorado at two small. It's it's up to three most places now. I, the more I think about it, the, the less I feel good about that that play because um, the the intimate knowledge that both coaches have with each other, I, I was doing a little research. They're, they're really good friends, Tab Boyle and Leon Rice, and they both talked about how well they know each other's teams. They talk about each other's teams. So I think the scouting level, as it always is in the NCAA tournament, is going to be all the way um, locked in. So I think that actually favors the under um, if you're trying to find an angle based on that, especially with the way Colorado has been defending lately. That's kind of been their MO with the lack of depth they've had. They've had some injuries to key pieces. But since they got Cody Williams back, five-star freshman phenom, you know, super talented dude, but his biggest impact, I think, has been on the defensive end, where I think his just swarming length and and speed has been a, a major deterrent for opposing offenses. Boise State, we know, likes to kind of execute in the half court. They don't have the talent pound for pound that Colorado has. I think they want to keep this a little bit lower in the possession type of nip and tuck approach. Um, so under's my hardest lean here, slightly into Colorado, but um, again, I just don't know if I like trusting the buffs away from home outside of altitude, especially with the way we saw um, Colorado State, Boise State's Mountain West brethren play last night. Uh, again, Boise State lost right away to New Mexico in the uh, in the Mountain West tournament quarterfinals. All right, Jeff, a thought here. They do have some good wins, uh, Boise State. Colorado won their way in at large, including um, in the Pac-12 tournament, beating Washington State on the neutral floor in Las Vegas. Thoughts on this uh, for tonight? Yeah, I, I think this matchup concerns me if I'm Boise due to the fact that, I mean, Colorado has multiple bigs that can bother you. They, they really struggled against the Utah State, a group like that, that, that has the ability in the half court to, to get the job done. I, I don't know if they're very good in the half court. And, and guys like Cody Williams and Eddie Lampkin and De Silva, I mean, they got plenty of kids that they can uh, – take you at the rim. I worry about them there. That said, I mean, Boise, it's really going to come down to three-point shots. I mean, they have been, when they make threes, they're extremely effective. I think they're 18-1 and one when they shoot 30% or better, which isn't that difficult. But when they don't, I mean, they've been a disaster. And it's really kind of conducive to how they play. I don't know. I, another tough game. Um, I like Boise a lot. I, I didn't like this matchup for them. I don't like that they have to play in a playing game, but here we are. Um, I lean Colorado as well, but it's a tough game. Buffaloes had won eight games in a row, including beating Oregon at Oregon late in the year, beating Utah. The Washington State win on the neutral floor, so they are the short favorite tonight. Not an official play, though, from the handicappers here, even on the total as of yet. Maybe somebody's going to live play it here coming up in the Q&A. We'll see. The winner gets Florida in the south bracket uh, as the 10 seed to plug in to play the Florida Gators uh, coming up in the NCAA tournament on Friday. 